channel today. I'm Tara. Um, today I am going to be doing a similar pearl cell and Dutch pour as this one and I had another one that was the blue. So the other two that I've done have been with the interference colors on the top of the puddle. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I've done the interference gold, interference blue green, and now I'm going to try the interference blue. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, let's get painting, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little voiceover here to explain what I'm doing. Um, you'll notice here that I am prepping the canvas by painting the edges. And the theory behind this is to get the edges a little bit tacky so that the design doesn't run off. And then second, you'll notice that this recipe is a little bit different from the ones that I've been using in my previous um, paintings and then the, the paint mixing video. Um, in my previous ones, I used the liquid gloss medium as a binder and then the golden GAC 800 to keep from cracking and crazing. And from my research, I noticed that golden color pouring medium actually does both of those things in one product. So I decided to give that a try. And I know that my dad over at DJ Fluid Arts, uh, that's what he uses. So I thought I'd give it a try. Now the results here that I had, um, it, it was successful uh, as a binder and it kept the paint from cracking, absolutely. But I did notice that uh, it leveled out my paints more than I wanted. Um, meaning that, that the design kept kind of spreading out. And so I went back to the jar a bit and I was reading on there and right there on the jar it says that it's a leveler also. Um, now the only problem with that is that one of the reasons that I use Floetrol is that it has leveling properties. So it's a paint conditioner and it will level out your paints um, to give you a nice even um, uh, uh, surface. So I feel like I wasn't super happy combining them the way that I did. Now don't get me wrong, um, it did work, uh, but um, it's just an observation that I had and that I think that I'm just going to keep experimenting and maybe cut back on the amount of Floetrol and then see how that turns out. Um, and you'll notice here, I'm, I'm kind of waiting around uh, to place my design of the, uh, the Dutch pour because I want to see where those pearl cells are going to pop out so that I can get the best composition here. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to do in the future or questions, um, or if you just like what you are seeing here, please um, leave them in the comments below. And then again, also don't forget to check out uh, the description box because you may find that your questions will be answered down there. I put everything down there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to head on over to DJ Fluid Arts. That's my dad's channel and um, check him out. Um, he's got a new video. It's pretty cool. He just put out the other day. So yeah, thank you for being here and you guys have a great day.